In this video, I'll show a full week of workouts in preparation for the Carlsbad 5K. And while every week is a little bit different, this gives you a good idea of the types of workouts, volume, and activities that I do on a weekly basis, and what my training philosophy is. So, two days after the 15K championships, and I'm honestly so excited, because I'm just right back into training. I took yesterday super easy. Today, normal Monday. I'm so happy that I could get to the start line of the race and the finish line, feeling completely healthy, and that like I'm just going right back into training, working towards my next goal. So this was an endurance bike ride, which means that it's a comfortable effort that I could maintain a conversation during and do for a long time. On Mondays, I also do a gym session that's less focused on building necessarily muscle and more focused on injury prevention, doing functional movements, strengthening my core, and just generally being a well-rounded athlete. Bring it around. <laughs> Bring it around town. I got my So that run was good, but oh, I've got blisters like none other. And um, on the same subject of the pain that my feet are in right now, I sacrificed a toenail to the cause. So, yeah, I miss him. I love the bike home from the gym. It's almost always like kind of at sunset. So pretty. End of the day, I'm in the Normatec boots, drinking some electrolytes, and yeah, solid day of training. Yay, training, yes! usually a run workout on the treadmill but my blister is so bad and I generally do a bike workout on Wednesday so I'm switching the days and biking today running tomorrow just to let the blister recover so you can see this is an LT2 workout which is one of my main training zones I'm on my break between reps it's so hard today it's literally impossible Going. So my training zones are LT1, LT2, race pace, VO2 max, and endurance. Most of my efforts are endurance, just that steady intensity I can hold for a long time, talk while I'm doing it. This week I also did some LT2 and race pace. So LT2 is lactate threshold or when my body is creating lactate and getting rid of it at the same rate. And race pace right now for me is 5K pace. Good morning. I'm starting the day with a little shakeout bike. I'm doing a treadmill workout later and then I'm gonna lift. Just shaking out the legs. I don't do shakeout runs because it's like extra pounding, not that much extra fitness, so. I do that on the bike instead. Uh -huh. Not a workout, but I am biking. Film Spencer's workout. It's gonna be pretty exciting out there. Am I right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This was a pretty relaxed workout to just help me recover from Gate River Run, but also spin the legs a little bit. And it was at intensive LT2, which is basically just when the LT2 reps are short enough that not too much lactate accumulation happens during them. So you can run at a little bit faster speed. And then afterwards, I did a lift with Alexis, and this was a heavier lift focused on building strength and muscular endurance. 
Also, as our strength improves, I'm trying to incorporate more unilateral and running specific movements. Update, how's the lift going? <sighs> Show them the sign. Level 10. I'm completely exhausted. I need to slow down immediately. <laughs> My next exercise is slow down immediately. I'm getting on the bike early this morning because I've got a normal photo shoot, video shoot later. I just wanted to quickly mention that if you're interested in more of the science behind my training zones and why I use them, I talked about that in depth in my last week of workouts video, so go check that out if you want to know more. Okay, so clearly I'm going on a run. I'm on a run. Yeah. Happy to be running. I'm doing a 45 minute easy run and then six hill sprints. So. Yeah. This is Georgie's reaction to Allie doing hills. <laughs> We're gonna play a game where we both say a Hey, word. I see you people in the comments thinking I'm just freeloading on Alley. You know what? Don't bust my cover. Come on guys, <laughs> chill out. Anyways, we're both gonna say a word on three and we're gonna keep doing it till we say the same word. Two, three. Jeez. Georgie! <laughs> okay. One, One two, two, three. Tax! tax. Yes. <laughs> Second try! The cheese tax. The cheese tax. <laughs> okay, set, go. Yo, he's just going into this. Come on, George. Yeah, he knows. He knows. All I have to say. Oh, okay. Wait, it's the start line's up there. So I have this entire workout in my last video, so if you want to see the full thing, that's where to go. But I just wanted to say that the Ks in this workout are at intensive LT2, so a little faster than my lactate threshold, and the 400s are at 5K pace. So practicing that rhythm, getting comfortable running that speed, and then the 300s were just a little something speedier to spice things up and get me used to that sort of speed I'll have at the start and the finish of a race. Feeling pretty good, excited to be um, a part of the Ostrander fan base now. Grinding up this thing. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go to Georgie wants to run. Okay, Georgie, we're back in the lead. You can relax now. So as I've said, I'm gonna be doing more trail running this summer. So I wanna make sure that I'm incorporating trails and also spending more time on my feet to get ready for longer races. Beautiful sight, isn't it? Beautiful. <laughs> we are headed skiing to the mountains. Ooh. I'm very excited, except these are my <laughs> skis. I was very kindly gifted these skis. Shout out to Killian, shout out Ski Moco. We 
love you guys. These are apparently racing skis. <laughs> So, I have never gone backcountry <laughs> before. I don't plan on racing anything other than for my life. It's gonna be a fun! We are parallel parked like absolute gods. My parallel parking prowess. Oh, I still have room to go there. Look, a whole hand. Always a good sign when you're reading the manual as you're getting ready to go. <laughs> I actually don't have a long run in my training right now. The last six months, I've been doing my long run either on the bike or the elliptical, and now I've added skis to that repertoire. For me, long run is a pretty big injury risk, so I just try to get that aerobic stimulus through cross training. Hip up, kick through. Yes, so we're gonna do it for real in a minute. <laughs> Off we go. Off we go. Into the abyss. All right, so we got this little descent right here into the lake. Oh, I've yeah. only fallen twice and been going for uh, 50 meters. Yep, okay, we got a little bit more to go. Oh, this is the fun part. How you feeling? Great. <laughs> Hell yes. Oh, oh. We started, Randy was like, oh, we might fall a little bit. <laughs> I have fulfilled that prophecy. All right. We have fallen a bit. <laughs> There's a ton of power, you'll be okay. Oh, it's so deep. Nice! Shredder, absolute shredder. That was so fun. <laughs> That's what we just hit. I was just sending it. Don't be silly, you know I'm gonna send it. Don't be it. silly. Now we got the pup sending. Georgie will be on the slope. Georgie soon. <laughs> Insane. Oh. That was just, I cannot describe how cool that was. It was just incredible. I hate this. Why? I want to go downhill. She's crushing me. I hate the uphill part. I'm so tired. Let's go, Let's go down. Randy does not love me right now. She waffles so much. Let's go. Oh. Mm -hmm. Natural maple syrup. Natural. This is how you release your untapped potential. <laughs> we're gonna send it. Oh, we're gonna send it. Woo! Oh, what a turn. Oh my God. <laughs> that was legitimately one of the best days of my life. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. I love that country song. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I got Allie into it. I can make her come all the time now. I love it. <laughs> She's a shredder. Holy shit, we did some pretty gnarly stuff. Crushed it. The power of the stoke took her over. The power of the stoke. <laughs> <laughs> no thoughts, just stoke. Yes.